Teachers, what was the worst thing a substitute teacher did while you were gone? I'm a little late to the party, but here it goes. I had a grade 1 half class last year, and one student had diabetes. Let yours call him madam. So Adam had a cell phone that beeps when his blood sugar is too low slash high. It yours connected to the monitor in his arm slash hip. The cell phone has no other uses, no apps, no data, not connected to the school wifi. The substitute saw his phone on his desk and promptly took it away as per the your no devices your rule. During gym class an EA comes in to make sure everything is okay and Adam is visibly ill. Pale slash sweating the whole works. Luckily the CA knows Adam's medical plan, instantly asks the Adam for the phone, and he explains that the substitute took it away in the morning. The EA then loses it on the substitute demanding the phone. The substitute calls in the principal to reprimand the EA, then get reprimanded herself as obviously she did not read the student's safety plans. She was asked to leave, and the principal taught the class the rest of the day. Adam was fine, drank a couple juice boxes, and had a granola bar. Mom picked him up shortly after. Student here. TLDR. Sub demanded I turn over my heart monitor in front of the class. Junior year I was having major heart problems, and had to wear a heart monitor 15 hours a day. It had a phone attached that when I had heart murmurs, it would send the data to my doctor. I was wearing it and started having heart issues. It buzzed and I went to click send when the sub demanded I turn over my cell phone. I started to explain why I couldn't and she snapped at me, so I lifted my shirt to show the wires and sensors strapped to my chest in front of the class of 50 students. Choir class. I've never seen any own's face drop that fast in my life. Back when I was a teacher, I had a sub decide my plans were and you're good enough for her and went rogue. She decided to show my students videos of animals giving birth on YouTube. I taught English. Went to sleep for 1.5 hours. My class was freaking amazing you're the sweetest, most thoughtful group you've ever had. When I got back the next day, I asked how the sub was. Me, how was the sub? Them, ah, uh, he was fine. He kinda took a nap for a while. Me, what? What did you guys do? Them, worked quietly so that we rolled near to wake him up. Eventually we ran out of work, so we just had silent reading. Me, for how long? Them, from when we started working, until it was time to go outside. Me, that year's a really long time. Look, I'm glad that you guys were so thoughtful, but if something like that ever happens again, please wake the sub up. It was not safe for the sub to sleep. He needed to be awake in case something happened. Them, we would have woken him up if we really needed to, but we also figured he probably really needed the sleep. Seriously, the sweetest class ever. I've had so many bad subs. One sub made an elementary student cry insisting her own name was misspelled and made her stand up in front of the class and admit her name was spelled wrong. I asked that she not return, but I still saw her around as other teachers had her sub. Another one worth mentioning was supposed to be my sub for the last two weeks of school because I went on maternity leave, this time teaching at a 7th 12th grade school. Ignored all my sub plans. Played on his cell phone the whole time, and then like 3 days, in got upset at the students, and told them off. And then they watched as he walked out to the parking lot and drove away. Thank goodness some kids went, and told the office. When I came back it was like my room had been ransacked. It was awful. I taught middle school math and English in the 90s and the sub didn't know how to convert a decimal into a fraction and kept insisting that the students who did know how to do it were wrong. She also apparently didn't know how to pronounce 5 of our 20 vocabulary words and didn't know what half of them meant. I caught the flu the week my students had a district benchmark test. I could feel that I was coming down with something. So I stayed late to put together really in-depth review packets and slidishows. 
I wrote pages of directions for the substitute and separated the reviews out by class numbers. I even included my personal number and told them to call me anytime if a student had a question they cold knew to answer. I spent about 5 hours putting everything together after school while battling around a 103 temp. The substitute completely ignored my instructions. She instead took every single piece of construction paper and cardstock in my classroom from my personal locker that I had left open for her in case she needed something and had the students make flip books about their feelings. They used thousands of pieces of paper and craft supplies, probably around $100 of my own personal supplies. This was for freshmen in high school, whom still bitter. Rearranged my room. Not in a move student A away from student B and put her by student C way. In a move the giant rug over to the opposite corner of the room and completely change the layout of student desks and rearrange a bookshelf way. The sub passed out drunk at my desk. Kids wrecked the room. Kids stole all my stuff. The kids had the sense to take themselves to lunch and recess, so no one in the school realized anything was wrong until after the kids had left for the day. I had a cool Chinese lucky cat that went missing after I had a sub. My students said the sub seemed really intrigued by it, talked about it several times, and even moved it from the shelf where it sat and brought it over to my desk. It was gone when I returned the next day. Apostrophe. Not me but my sister. She was on maternity leave, 10 weeks, and the long term sub she had didn't grade any of the work that the students turned in. The other teachers she worked with said he would watch the Simpsons on his laptop while not teaching. So she comes back from leave and has 10 weeks worth of papers, tests, and assignments to grade. Her department chair banned him from subbing for their department ever again. Left my perfectly prepped and neat desk an absolute disaster, did not follow the lesson plan, and took my gel pens. Not a teacher, but I vividly remember one incident of having a substitute in kindergarten. I had an infected cut on my toe and had been prescribed an antibiotic. That morning was the first time I took it. We were sitting on the floor for roll call, and I remember this burning pain in my abdomen, and she told us to get up and go to out desks. I tried to get up, only to realize I cold knew it move and just laid back. This sub was a total cow and I remember she was always really mean, anyway she starts yelling at me for being attention seeking, and basically tries to pull me up. I'm in so much pain I start screaming, and one of the teachers from the classroom next to us comes, realizes I'm not faking it, and calls an ambulance. Long story short I'm horribly allergic to penicillin and my kidneys were failing, I was in hospital for almost a week, before I got discharged. Needless to say that absolute bitch was not allowed back at the school, but I will never forget that day. I had a sub give out my cell phone number to my high school students, so they could call me and give me excuses as to why they were in Europe taking their test while I was gone. I was livid. I complained to the sub office, and that teacher never subbed for my building again. There was a harpsichord in the front of the classroom used both for demonstration and performance. Not knowing what he was doing, the sub tried to tune three notes that had gone mildly out of tune while I was away. He managed to break the strings on all three notes and left a message inside reading, sorry about that. Not a teacher, of course, but when I was in fifth grade we had a sub show us the first Scream movie. I have no idea why or how that happened, but some people were not ready for that. This happened to my colleague, but I was the classroom next door. My colleague was showing Clash of the Titans at the end of the year after a unit on Ancient Greece. There is mild nudity at the beginning and the end of the movie, but they were in the middle of the movie so their shoulder nudes have been an issue. He left the video paused at the right spot. We still had VCRs like 10 years ago when this happened, but the sub somehow managed to show both the nudity at the beginning asterisk and the asterisk the end of the movie. The nudity scenes were hours apart, and the class was only 40 minutes. 
Then, the sub wrote an email to the principal about how my colleague made him show nudity. My 9th grade English teacher was fired, which is an entire other story, and the school had difficulty finding someone to fill the spot. We would have random subs, but they didn't really teach us, so eventually we had a different person babysit us each day or week. One time it was a very scary principal who just glared at us, like we were convicts about to escape, the school's police officers who at least talked to us, and various teachers for one day stints. I don't know why one of our five librarians couldn't have been in there going through grade appropriate books at the least. We spent two to three months like that. I had left out, overnight, eggs that I was going to use in a science experiment the following day. I was out and thought nothing about it. I returned the following day and went looking for the eggs only to find them missing. Asked a student where they went, and I was informed that the substitute took the class to the special education kitchen, hard-boiled them and ate them. I went to talk to my app, and was informed that the sub had called in sick for her job for that day, due to food poisoning. She let the kids run wild, and do whatever they wanted, first graders. I was out, because my dad died. Thank god my team realized what happened and all pulled together and cleaned the room slash put it back together before I returned to work.